Blazing goes either Korra or Ren and Stimpy, I think the win conditions and the game plan Scribble has is just too solid. Like, Scribble just knows what to do and just applies too much pressure. I think there's a chance we see the Lincoln come out, but for the most part, it felt very balanced watching these two play at the end of Winter's Final. I would expect to see this matchup throughout. Yeah, I can definitely see that for sure, man. It's so crazy to see how far school oh pasta got is almost reverse three on the sandy but you dude i can definitely see the momentum sort of being on his side in a little bit in that regard right away we're seeing yeah we're seeing some scary offstage play from blazing but squibble doing a good job recovering against it not getting gimped oh my god dead even percents they're just spamming strong attacks and whiffing Uh, yep, yeah, definitely. This happened for sure. Neutral. Ooh, dash tag there. Not good gailing. That duck ledge trap not getting punished from Squibble. Down throw. Ooh, going the duck snipes. Not quite getting it though. Ooh, <laughs> good RPS, but not getting the kill yet. One interesting we're seeing, thing we're seeing is that Squibble is opting to DI up more and more and more. And, okay, cool guy fighting the, the punish there, but for the most part, it does seem like Blazing has to... It takes quite a bit of time for him to travel that vertical distance to that weird double jump. So for him to, yeah. like, look for those sub pairs, it's kind of hard when Squibble's playing this high up. And look at look how Squibble's playing yeah. neutral, too. Yeah, Squibble's fine with this. Squibble wants Blazing to approach from below. Right, right. Yeah, very smart type of Squibble, man. Putting himself in a position where he's as hard as possible to... Catch him, in general. Yeah, snare across the stage will eventually do it, man. 100% on both sides. Stop. Ooh, nice parry there. Not, not really getting a lot off of it, but... Not, ooh, last over. Going? Okay. Yeah, I think this is the kind of game plan you're, you're gonna see from Squibble, right? Squibble yeah. wants to bait into the air using these jabs using this ground control and then make a read in the air with that air last I think that's gonna be like the core of Squibble's game plan here yeah you see him already going for it right now again again man it's been over reliable from this whole tournament why stop him now yeah it's working pretty well I mean there it's a really even game though like blazing blazing able to play that rock because it's pretty pretty nicely but Squibble finding that kill going up a stock does find a kill. Pasta trying to find one of his own. Has him off stage. Down strong. Not killing. Still hit though. Hey, does Hugh have the same forward throw uh, up strong 50 50 that does the cast does? Yes. Or does the weird double jump screw him up? No, he does. Okay. He's really good at him too because his sub air is amazing. Yeah, I, I love that sub air. Smack him with a ukulele. Definitely. Oh, oh my god. That was so smart for school, bro. Oh, that could have been the stock. Barely miss again. All right, Scobo chasing Hugh into the corner, but Hugh, yeah, Blazing finding the reversal there, getting the back throw, not able to convert. Scobo is fine playing a little bit passively here, up a stock, right? You can make Blazing approach in the whiff punish, but Blazing gonna find the duck. Yeah, the duck definitely is getting a lot of mile drops, this bro, and all again. RPS in that sub area, dude. He's got caught by that a few times. Oh, Naren out there. I'm a little surprised that worked. He's seeing these consistent yellow blocks. Oh my god, nice combo from Scobo. Oh, that was sick from Scribble. Amazing stuff for that combo. Damn, Kree, Kree laying the hammer down in chat right now. <laughs> um, I don't think we're gonna see a character swap. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I can see it maybe if he loses the game too, but I mean, I don't know though. It seems like Squibble is getting more of a handle on the the U bro. Um. I mean, it's uh, Pasta's counterpick, so you can like avoid a sort of bigger situation, bigger stage situation where that kind of thing will happen. Um, I, but I, I don't know. 
I do think the stage played a large, a large role there. So like, yeah. Historically, Blazing has really liked Urken, so it makes a ton of sense that he would want to go to Urken game one. But because Hugh struggles to cover that vertical height, and because Squibble was able to figure that out, he was able to use the platforms really effectively in neutral. And we're not going to see that same advantage on the other stages, I think, for the most part. Yeah, definitely. So at least um, that stage out for a pasta to contend with more. Like you said, he's like sort of like showing all his platforms a lot of the time, making pasta come in vertically in a way that's kind of weird for him to do with. So not having uh, that stage to do with is going to be better for him, but still, it may be an uphill battle for pasta. Yeah, I think ideally you want to see some lower platforms. Like I don't think I don't think you want to see cemetery, but we want to see like. Maybe some like Sweet Dream style platforms, like double jump, those we those double jump cancel style characters, they tend to really like being with the Waveland off platforms and like control space that way. Like kind of mm -hmm. like keep the, like kind of control a platform like it's their own little island that they inhabit. Right, and right. Getting the top platform out of the question, I think will work wonders in his favor here. So we'll see what the stage pick is. Yeah, honestly, I think at this point, any would probably keep better. <laughs> then uh Erkin. Play nice. Neutral. We want a sewers. This worked last time. He Fine. did take a W. And yeah, maybe trying to capture that same magic again, but I don't know. Squibble being one that's quick to adjust. It's gonna be difficult, more difficult rather, to get it this time. He's there. Back air snare! Jesus! I can't believe that didn't kill. I did die, bro. Yeah, I got on the jab situation for the last one again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Global rope recovering above the projectile. Like, when he goes that high, it's so hard for Q to contest. Blazing has to find a way to shark that. Yeah. This will, he can, like, probably double jump snare. Uh, strong up there again. Up there, but, like. So, uh, committal. Very committal. Okay, commitment. You don't want to be losing your double jump versus Sandy, dude. Oh, yeah, definitely. Actually, do you get your resources back if you get lassoed? No, I don't think so. Okay, yeah, you really don't want to use your double. You don't really don't want to bring your double jump then. Yeah, unless you have like the most insane read of all time. Pasta does sometimes, so maybe. Yeah, he is. He is definitely someone who like will find hard reads later in the set. Yeah, most definitely. Okay, though, Pasta has a good footing on the stage right now. Super. Mm -mm. Oh, he's about to jump with the duck. That's so crucial. You get the edge guard right here. He still hasn't landed. Oh, I think he landed right there. Yeah, oh, but burned all his resources. This could be another chance from you. Oh, going for the duck, whiffing it. Gonna get punished a little bit. Punch in the nose. Stop air than a kill. Wow. Just kind of mashing it in a weird position. Worked out. Getting under the lasso. That's really interesting for sure, man. He's punching. Oh, amazing. Oh. Nice trap play from Squibble. That was sick. Yeah, it does seem like overall Squibble does prefer to go for the less traps to the edge guards. How do you feel about it? Uh, yeah, he was, um, recovery is just weird to challenge. Whether it be the motorcycle or the he has a lot of control over both of the, uh, the ladder. The motorcycle was, you get hit by it sometimes. So I get it. It's working out for him well, because he doesn't really need to switch it up too much, I feel like. Hmm. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. That is a lot of mix-ups to have off stage. And I guess like when you have that weird double jump, it also makes you a little slower coming back from ledge. Like you can't like ledge dash in the same way. Yeah. Down throw. Ooh, tech chase. Nothing stuff here though. Get lasso and stuck. Squibbles one stock away, going up 2-0 here. That will be really, really big. Really would, bro. Look at that squibble that's got the hang of the hue, man. Not getting caught off guard by more of these mix-ups he was getting hit in that first set. It's looking just so good for Squibble right now, bro. Ooh, blocking one hit of the motorcycle without the second. Getting teetered. Oh, Ooh, good back air. Game of Walker, though. Now it's Sean will take. He's got some kills off that. That's 2-0 for Squibble, dude. We might be one game away. We legitimately might be one game away from the tournament. It really might be, bro. Just, man, seeing Squibble, dude, just push Blazing Pasta this much, it's just like, 
I feel like we haven't seen stuff like this since like Bodidi. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And it's amazing that we now see some like honestly for a while, like Blazing Pasta didn't really have much competition at the top. Yeah. Then we saw some amazing sets between him and Andrew, and now we're seeing Squibble really pull forth. The game is com more mm -hmm. competitive than ever at the very, very top right now. This it is really is rough. Of course, people are leaving the top, but others are, you know, rising up to fill those spots right now. Man, Squibble making a case for him to be, you know, I might be one for one after all, bro. It's looking like it might be possible. Yeah, honestly, if I feel like if Squibble wins this set, especially if he wins from winner's side, he pretty is he, I think he's uncontestably number one. Like, like at this point, he's pretty solid. Like, if he wins the set from winner's side, that means he's pretty pretty much solidly favored against every single other player right now, right? Yes, I think so too. Which is so crazy, dude. It'll be actually just history for sure. Because I mean, we think of um. We think of Nikolai All Star Brawl, you always think, you know, Very like, nice. um, Blazing Pasta and Bodidi at the top. You know, maybe Willy Butter go help, depending on how far you go back. We're just like, Squibble is saying, like, put me in that conversation too. I'm like, that's yeah. so crazy to see. Blazing Pasta is the one constant in Grand Finals. Like, you've seen so many different people against him in Grands at this point. Basically, it's kind of the one constant up there. Yeah. Like he's just, whenever he's into bracket, like it's gonna be surprised if he doesn't make top two. Like really. The Lincoln is gonna come out. I I see the rationale. You know the hue the hue drop two games. You got the different stuff the jabs. I will say I'm a little concerned about Lincoln's ability to contest Lasso. Oh, um, he kind of get. I mean, it's like very. You have to like be in a very specific range. I think if he kind of wants to spend like the range like inside of Lasso where he can't really hit him quite yet. Oh my God, he's dead. Wow, okay. I I guess especially on sewers, like that last was gonna matter a bit less. You just stay in that suffocating range the entire time the way Andrew was kinda doing for a bit. Yeah. I think this is actually by far the best stage too, so like it makes sense that he isn't so comfortable on. Jeez! Is that dead? No, not quite. Bro, this is so blazing fast though. Drop two games and you get a four stock. Like <laughs> like honestly, like you you can't count like the first two games don't matter versus blazing. They never have, they never will. It's insane, bro. I don't know how he does it. This is resilient from dude. It's just amazing. But Squibble, no different, bro. He's always just unshaken, it feels like. Oh, what my god! Oh my god! Oh, that he died at zero. He died at zero. That's crazy. I was expecting the sub air. I was shocked. Yeah, I think Pasta was there too, bro. Jeez. Oh no, he caught the jump. He caught the jump. It's Lincoln. He's gonna get back. He does. So this is that mentality you were talking about from Squibble, dude. He isn't shaking at all. He could actually bring this all the way back. He's playing like he's in the lead right now, bro. Just no fear. That's gonna hurt. Last so, the... Just like that. Last stop. He's gonna enter with a reverse four stock run. No shot, dude. No shot. I don't know it's possible, man. It's looking very doable. This is the type of gameplay you see from the best player in the world. Oh, punch him in the face! Yeah. There, snare not quite killing. Oh my god, just playing so patiently. Blocks and jabs, blocks and jabs. We're sparring. It really is, bro. His neutral is just so amazing, bro. Does he just. He does not waste a move. Like, every move has a purpose. Oh, he gets the parry! Over 100%. This could be it. Oh, the up, the intercepting him! Oh my god, dude. Oh, no, he still can get it! He scribbled the game so well to avoid these strong attacts, but finally Blazing is gonna land the score going into game four. Dude, that could have been the tournament. Lincoln Blazing wow. is so clutch though. Man, like, even your pasta though, man, it's just like, does that really feel good as a win? That's cool, yeah. almost made it come back to reverse three. Reverse four. I Dude, my heart is beating so fast. That was an, almost a, a reverse four stock game three. He was so it close. Is. He was so. It almost feels wrong that he didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> it is too, bro. It just. I think even like with that performance, like going down a game is what you matter for Squibble. Like you're still going to this next game with so much momentum. Still having Blazing Pasta at least some degree, a, a tiny bit shook though. Yeah. 
Yeah, you definitely got Blazing Pasta thinking a bit. Like, I was doing so well. What happened to the end there? What do I need to change? And he he has to he has to think about that without getting too deep into his own head too. Yeah. Most definitely, dude. But it's just like it's so difficult. <laughs> it's just difficult, bro. Schoolboy just at this point just seems like he just understands everything Pasta doing so well right now. Blazing might switch back. Like that. That wasn't definitive evidence that he should stay Lincoln. Let's be clear here. Mm -mm, I don't think so either. Not to mention that was on sewers where Lincoln probably has it best. Yeah. Exactly, too. It's just, it's just so crazy to see Uber's contest pasta this much, bro. Oh my god. Get ready. You ready to get started? Scoble so going to Jelly. His favorite stage, but honestly, it's going to be pretty good for Lincoln, too. I think Blazing's probably pretty happy he got taken here. Yeah, that's definitely not happy. He lost his jump, though. Oh, gets back to stage, fortunately, for Pasta. That, it feels really weird that I worked. That was a really high up beat. <laughs> What's up, the for him, bro? Mix them up occasionally. Oh, we're wave jabbing. Oh, yeah. Scoble mixing up between jab one and jab two. It's working out pretty well in his favor. Perfect. Oh, okay. And now you're making good. it back. Purple. I think it's just like the first player I feel like he kind of like has that perfect like combination of just like insane pressure as well as just like unshakable defense that just like people like pasta are typically usually reflects on people so just like this is a crazy change of pace from what usually happens against this guy yeah no you're absolutely right I mean well what I was about to say just kind of got denied there but on the whole scribble has been doing a really good job DIing out of these kill confirms not eating these strong strong attack not eating these aerial strong attacks not eating these edge guards off stage exactly man it's just it's so crazy dude man this is playing so well honestly yo that parry out of the corner though oh that other parry out of the corner though Dude, Squibble is another, another level right now, bro. Pasta trying to leave that same level right now, trying to challenge him, not let him take this tournament life just yet. Pressure near the corner. Perfect. Oh, the chicken is killed. Oh my god, Squibble has all the bit. Oh, mm -hmm. wait! That was sick, that was sick. Big read on that. Goes down so far, getting a snare. Commentator's curse master. Why does me? <laughs> I influence the game as I talk. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hold on. Pasta cooking right now. Yeah. Oh, almost getting the teeter off, but not quite. It's still keeping the corner pressure up. Oh, nice block with the lasso to run in. I guess, uh, I guess that area lasso is maybe less safe on block than it looks at first. I don't remember the frame off the top of my head, I'm not sure. It's out there though. <laughs> it's good that he found an answer. Oh, it worked again! It worked again! Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think he has like any block stun, so he probably just like block it and then run in. Oh, if it has no block stun, that's gotta be straight ass on block. It seems like it, but I don't know, most of the time like she's at a range where it's just like it's hard to punish anyway. You're not seeing. Oh my God! Squibbles one stock away. Oh, he's one stock away from taking this whole thirsty. Is he really that good? We'll find out the answer right now. Pasta struggling to stay alive in this bracket. Gets the scooter confirmed, dude. Blazing has Blazing's been in this position before, and he's taken yeah. it to game five in this position before. Yo! Oh, Jesus. Yo, wait, 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 jump there too. He used jump there too. It's over, Pride. Oh, it's no. over. No, it's, it's over. over. Squibble. Congratulations. And the winner is Squibble. Sandy. The best Nazmi player in the world? Yeah, I'm, I'm caught. That's the best Nazmi player in the world. That is the best Nazmi player in the world. He was definitely playing like it, bro. Just, he can't even say it's by a character, bro. He's done this with like three, four characters at this point. Squibble just starting his just insane fundamentals, just being so fundamentally good at the game and just like formulating a game plan, just sticking with that, just so he can know win condition. Those are all just important things to have as you know a player. And Squibble, I think, just showed that right now that he's like insane with it. Same with all of it, honestly. 
That didn't go to a reset. That didn't even go to game five. Mm -mm. Squibble was just the better player.